Hi, and welcome to Devlog 1 for my Space Shooter. The goals for this week were to create a basic main menu, player projectiles, and basic enemies. I started working on the basic main menu on Friday, which involved creating a new function in game.h called load main menu. This function read the assets and entities needed to create the menu from a Lua file. The Lua file read is called mainmenu.lua and follows the same structure as the other Lua files used to load levels. While doing this, I faced multiple issues with the application crashing. I find it much harder to understand issues in C++ than other programming languages like C Sharp, but stepping through the function slowly really helps work out where the problems are. It turns out my issues at this stage were caused by the collision function not checking if the size of the entities equaled zero. Once I fixed this issue, I added the code to load entities from the Lua file. I copied this code from other functions as I was trying to get the game working quickly at this stage, but later on I'd like to go back and clean this up. After getting this code to work, I messed around with the Lua file trying to get different entities to show, which at first was a helipad, but then I replaced it with two text entities, one a larger title and one a subtitle. After I got these to show, I finished up for the day. The next day, I started working on changing the player sprite to a temporary spaceship asset. I'm going to design game assets for the game over the next week, such as player, an enemy sprite, and a tile set. Getting the assets to work required some modification of the code, as the code was pre previously designed for an asset that had different animations for each direction. So I had to create an optional field in Lua to disable this for the asset. After I created this, I also added the code to create projectiles for the player when the space button was pushed. Once I added projectiles for the player, I found that the existing control scheme code was not working correctly, so I had to refactor the code for the controls and move it into the game class. Once I did this, I found that it fixed all the problems I had with the control scheme. After I finished fixing the control scheme, I started to work on the basic enemy for the game. This involved adding an entity into the level lure file. Once I added the en enemy into the level, I needed to sort out the code for the enemy to disappear when shot. This was fairly simple and once I fixed the code, it, the enemy would disappear as soon as they were shot. Once this was complete, I added in rotation for the sprite as the assets I was using for the enemy were facing the wrong direction. After this was complete, I did some final cleanup on the code and finished for the week. Over this week, I completed all the tasks that I wanted to complete and fixed some bugs that I also didn't account for. The game now has a more refined control scheme, a basic main menu, basic enemies, and the player can shoot projectiles. In the upcoming week, I want to focus on creating the assets I need for the game. I want to create a player and enemy sprites plus a tile map. The assets will be done in pixel art and I'll be trying out multiple pixel art tools to work out which one I recommend for a beginner. But until then, please give this video a like if you enjoyed it, comment and subscribe for more content like this and videos about tech too.